Let's look at an actual data model XML document for device 2. First, you'll see a set of comments. These will name the most recent editors and give you an overview of the updates in each version. Every data model document starts with the DM document element. This element describes the namespace that the data model pulls from. In this case, you can see that it is an instance of the CWMP data model schema and defines the spec name as tr-181-2-10-0. Next comes a list of complex data types. In addition to the simple types provided by XML, this is where types specific to CWMP are built. This includes things like IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, MAC addresses, etc. Use these to determine any type and pattern restrictions on standard broadband form data types. Now let's look at the model itself. This starts with the model element giving the name of the model, in this case device 2.10, and immediately starts with the root object device. Every object contains some or all of several attributes. These attributes are important to understanding the purpose and requirements of the object. These attributes include the name, which is the full path name of the object. If it's a multi-instance object, it will include variable instance signifier i to indicate this. In a path name, child objects of multi-instance objects will also include these in the name in the dated model. This signifier, however, is never used over the wire. It is always replaced by an actual instance number. The access attribute indicates whether or not the object is creatable using the add object RPC and can take a value of read-only or read-write. The num entries parameter attribute tells the name of the parameter in a multi-instance object's parent that indicates the number of instances of that object that exist. This is usually named by concatenating the name of the object with the phrase number of entries, for example, vendor config file number of entries. The min entries attribute describes how many instances of an object must exist. If it is zero, this object can be omitted in the device's instantiated data model. The max entries attribute describes how many instances of an object may exist. For single instance objects, this has a value of one. For multi instance objects, it will be greater than one and may be unbounded. Lastly, the DM version attribute indicates in which version of the data model this object was added or edited. Multi instance objects also contain a few elements other than parameters. Most notably are the unique key elements. Since a multi-instance object can be considered a database table, the data model acts as a schema describing the structure of entries in that table and the table itself. Unique key elements are used to describe which parameters must be unique across the entire table, that is, those that uniquely identify the object instance. There are two kinds of unique keys, functional and non-functional. A functional unique key is a parameter that serves a purpose necessary to the function of the object, such as IP address in the IPv4 address table. A non-functional unique key is a parameter whose purpose is to provide a unique key only, such as name or alias parameters. An object's unique key is the union of all listed unique keys. For example, an IP address object has alias, IP address, and subnet mask all as unique keys.